Sheikh Al Alam International Airport (IATA: SXR, ICAO: VISR), also known as Srinagar Airport, is an international airport that serves Srinagar, the summer capital of the state of Jammu and Kashmir, India. It is owned by the Indian Air Force, and the Airports Authority of India operates a civil enclave at the airport. Although, designated an international airport in 2005, the Srinagar Airport does not receive scheduled international flights as of April 2018, but has seen Hajj flights. It has an integrated terminal and one asphalt runway. The airport has bus and taxi service to the city of Srinagar, which lies 12 kilometres to the north. History Originally, the Srinagar Airport was used only by the Indian Air Force. During the Indo-Pakistani War of 1947, the airport received an airlift of Indian troops who prevented Pakistan from capturing the city of Srinagar. Although the airport was small and lacked landing aids, the airlift was still carried out successfully on 27 October. In September 1965, the Srinagar Airport was subjected to an air raid amid the Indo Pakistani War of 1965, which left some aircraft damaged. In 1979, the Airports Authority of India established a civil enclave at the airport. The terminal was modified in February 1998 to be able to handle international Hajj flights, which first started operating from Srinagar in January 2002. During the Kargil War in 1999, the airport was taken over completely by the Air Force, and civilian flights were prohibited from landing. In March 2005, the airport was granted international status by the Indian government. In 2006, the airport was renamed Sheikh Ul Alam International Airport after the Kashmiri patron saint. An expanded terminal, able to serve both domestic and international flights, was inaugurated on 14 February 2009 by politician Sonia Gandhi. It was part of a larger expansion project that also included an increase in the number of parking stands from 4 to 9. The total cost of the project was 130 crore rupees, 18 million dollars, fully provided by the Indian government. On the same day, Air India Express started once weekly flights to Dubai, the first regularly scheduled international flights from Srinagar. However, due to low demand from passengers, the flights were terminated in January 2010. Infrastructure The Srinagar Airport has an integrated terminal, handling both domestic and international flights. It covers 19,700 square meters square feet and can serve 950 passengers at a time, 500 domestic and 450 international passengers. The terminal is designed to look like the Himalayas and has a sloping roof that facilitates snow removal. Amenities include a restaurant, a handicrafts shop, ATMs, currency exchange, a chocolates shop, and 30 minutes of complimentary Wi-Fi. There is a single asphalt runway, 1331, with dimensions 3,685 by 46 meters, 12,090 feet times 151 feet. It has been equipped to handle instrument landing system approaches since February 2011. Airlines and destinations Notable accidents and incidents On 7 September 1965, amid the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965, four fighter jets of the Pakistan Air Force attacked the Srinagar Airport. An Indian Air Force Douglas C-47 Skytrain and an Indian Airlines Douglas DC-3 were destroyed during the air raid. A Chicago Tribune article published the following day reported that one Indian aircraft and a caribou transport of the United Nations Observers Headquarters were damaged. <laughs> <laughs> Access The airport is located about 12 kilometers (7.5 miles) from the city of Srinagar. There is a car park with 250 spaces. 
The government provides a paid bus service between the airport and the tourist resource centre near Lal Chowk, while the Airports Authority of India operates a free bus service between the terminal and the airport entrance gate 1 km miles away. The airport is also served by taxis and car rental agencies, which have their booths outside the terminal. <laughs> 